Welcome back to Antigua Barbuda. Today, well, technology featured prominently in the International Children's Peace, Peace Prize. Did I say Peace? Peace Prize <laughs> awarded uh, to Salat Rahman by the Nobel Peace Prize laureate Malala Yousafzai. During a ceremony in the Netherlands, uh, he was awarded the prize for his involvement in the creation of a social organization. It was a mobile app called Cyber Teens to stop cyber bullying. And we are sitting with, of course, local experts on apps here in Antigua Barbuda. This is Trevon Solomon. He's sitting with us. As we talk about the significance of, of that win and, of course, um, how technology has really helped to shape how we are able to rear our children, our young people, et cetera, across this country. Uh, Trevon, good morning and welcome back. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. How has life changed for you after your recent um, rise to fame? Uh, well, <laughs> wouldn't call it a rise to fame just yet. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, everything has been a lot busier. Uh, we're, we're still working on expanding to the U.S. market. And uh, we've had a, a surge in, in teachers and students using the app. We've added more features, things that are more relevant during COVID-19, mm -hmm. uh, added new options for having virtual, uh, more virtual classrooms than just using Zoom. And uh, it's, it's been a, quite exciting. And we've also been dropping the price of um, uh, getting tutoring and after online after classes for subjects because we know it's, times are still very hard uh, during COVID-19. But education is still important. So, you know, price shouldn't be a factor as to uh, if you're able to access extra lessons or not to get your education. So we're, that, that's one of the main things we're working on. Very, very, very important there. Um, now, like I said at the start, technology featuring very prominently the International Children's Peace Prize is for an app. How significant yeah. is that? Yeah, so I, I was uh, reading up about him. I've been following him uh, ever since he was one of the nominees. And um, so I was looking at the statistics of his app. Uh, over 40,000 people have been using it. He's from Bangladesh. He's uh, 17 years old. And it uh, turns out he was actually moved by a 15-year-old who uh, committed, sadly committed suicide because she was being cyberbullied. And that pushed him to uh, make, one, the social enterprise around uh, cyber teens and the app itself. And then uh, from there, uh, what he was able to do was not only give uh, students and persons in Bangladesh a way to um, anonymously report cyberbullying, which was a huge problem. Uh, they weren't comfortable going to their parents and their teachers when it comes to them getting cyberbullied. But some of the reports, actually that led to arrests, actually led to accounts being banned on social media. And I found, wow, that's actually some very positive change right there. So um, it, what he's doing is quite exciting, and uh, I'd love to see something like that here in the Caribbean, because cyberbullying is a real problem. It is indeed. Yeah. Uh, only one of the issues that uh, our children are plagued with. In terms of uh, access to online uh, platforms, etc., it is a scary um, thought for some parents, etc. What are your thoughts on that, on protecting our children as they, they interface with, with the online environment? Well, I definitely believe um, when it comes to etiquette, that needs to be taught. For sure, uh, when it comes to using uh, devices online, um, knowing what sites to go to, what to avoid, um, knowing, you know, you shouldn't trust persons the first time you talk to them online or else you're setting yourself up for trouble. Um, things like that, I mean, simple rules like that are, are really what I think would, would help um, prevent most of the occurrences that we're hearing about when it comes to cyberbullying. What's driven the impetus to, to apps? I mean, you, you, you become involved, obviously, doing very well at it. Why have we been driven now as a society to, 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 to gravitate towards the use of apps? Well, um, it's more efficient. So instead of, for example, I mean, Sadat could have set up a hotline. He would have had to hire people. He would have had to make sure that they are following call script. And they would accept those anonymous reports. But that's very costly, mm -hmm. um, especially for a 17-year-old in Bangladesh. So. Um, the use of apps, it's, it's lower cost uh, to run and to create, and uh, you can reach a larger audience. I mean, think about it, 40,000 people, you would have had to get, let's say, 300 or 400 persons answering calls if you were to do it the traditional way. So it, it's much more effective, um, much more efficient, and it can scale up very well. Let's go back to the cyberbullying issue, though, uh, in terms of uh, young people being online, a lot of them love technology, interfacing with people online. You talk about etiquette, but cyberbullying is still a real issue, is it not? Yeah, it, it is a real issue, especially here in Antigua. Um, I know it's not one of the, the top things that people will think about when it comes to what are the main problems in society, but cyberbullying is, is a huge issue. And the scary thing is it can happen from anyone around the world. You cannot be, um, hmm, how should I say this? Uh, you don't have to be cyberbullied by someone in Antigua. Mm -hmm. 
that's that's the scary part. It could be anyone around the world pretending to be anyone, and you're playing a game or you're on Facebook, and um, someone's someone's insulting you, and uh, it, it's it's getting to a really bad state. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, it happens too often. It happens yeah. not only with children and with teens; it happens with adults as well. Believe it or not, um, if you think about peer pressure, it's not just um, for children, for young people, it happens even as we become adults as well. It's yeah, so absolutely. unfortunate. Um, let's come back home. Let's talk about your app. Just tell, 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 tell us about it. Um, those of us who speak to you often enough would know, you know it's <laughs> education, it's teachers, it's online learning, etc. But let's introduce the general public. Yeah, so Project that. Jaguar is an app that allows teachers to become teacherpreneurs. Um, so what this means is it gives parents and students access to uh, better tutoring, online tutoring, cheaper tutoring. Um, and more flexible tutoring. Um, so you, you learn on your own time, you don't have to go anywhere physically. And on the teacher's end of things, um, they don't have to go commute to a physical after class center and, uh, and teach. So it saves time on both ends, it, it saves um, overhead costs, and um, we really just want to expand the access of education around the Caribbean and also uh, within, within the US and other countries that we're in right now. So um, that's, that's the main goal of Project Jaguar right now. And uh, we're trying to just mobilize teachers to have more at the, their disposal to use their skills and monetize it even more. That, that's what the, the platform is all about. And um, actually right now what we're doing is um, uh, we have a rotating set of teachers who are offering free sessions in all CSEC subjects for third to fifth formers and also for um, fourth to sixth graders. Uh, in Antigua and around the Caribbean um, and uh, that's been going on for the past uh, week and, and we're, we're still ongoing with that. All right, and how, how can we take advantage of it? How can we find you? Okay, well, um, you can go on our website, pjaguar.com, and sign up for the waiting list. Uh, parents would be put on a waiting list and then they'd be, they'd be added on and they would get emails of the, um, uh, the sessions that are upcoming. Or they can just call us at 720-6286. Uh, uh, once again, that is 720 Six two eight six, and uh, they can just call, and we'll give them all the information, walk them through how to sign up, and uh, they will be good to go. All right, John. Thank you so much for joining us as usual. Um, yes, yeah, so good luck. Congratulations again, of thank course. Uh, doing big things across the region with your local app, yep. uh, and uh, good luck with launching out to the deep, as you would see, expanding your, the scope of your business. All right, so we're going to take a break. When we come back, as Steve said before the break, Christmas is in the air, and it's also what 2020. We've got lots more coming up on the show. We, we never know where we're going to, what's going to happen next right here. All right, well, stay with us. Short break, we'll be right back.